We have an Irish derby in the first of the URC quarterfinals. My name is Mark, let's talk rugby. Ulster v Connacht is at Ravenhill in Belfast on Friday the 5th of May, kickoff at 7.35 BST. We'll start with the teams with home team Ulster first in the backs, Mike Lowry, Rob Balakoon, James Hume, Stuart McCluskey, Jacob Stocktail, Billy Burns and John Cooney, forwards Rory Sutherland, Rob Herring, Jeffrey Tamaga Allen, Alan O'Connor, Kieran Treadwell, Dave McCann, Nick Timoney and Dwayne Vermeulen. On the bench, Tom Stewart, Eric O'Sullivan, Garrett Milasinovic, Sam Carter, Jody Murphy, Nathan Doak, Stuart Moore and Craig Gilroy. The Connacht team then, separate backs, Tierno O'Halloran, John Porch, Tom Farrell, Bunny Aki, Mac Hansen, Jack Carty and Caelan Blade. Forwards, Dennis Buckley, Dave Heffernan, Finley Bealham, Josh Murphy, Neil Murray, Seamus Hurley Langton, Connor Oliver and Kieran Prendergast. On the bench then, Dylan, Tierney Martin, Jordan Duggan, Jack Ongier, Pushing Dowling, Jared Butler, Kieran Marmion, Tom Daly and Byron L- Ralston. Okay, so team news then. Ulster made two changes from the win over Edinburgh. Rory Sutherland comes into the front row and Stuart McCluskey is in at inside centre. Eric O'Sullivan and Jordan Murphy come onto the bench. Jacob Stockdale will be winning his 100 cap for Ulster in this one. Rob Herring is set to equal the all-time cap record of 229 caps. That will be joined with Andrew Trimble and Darren Cave. For Connacht, then four changes from the side that lost narrowly to Glasgow. Got Dave Heffernan in at hooker. Seamus Hurley Langton in at six. Josh Murphy uh, moves to the second row. Bunyaki and Mac Hansen in the backs. Both of them were kind of touch and go due to illness. Tierney Martin, Dowling at Ralston. Uh, Ralston, sorry, uh, dropped to the bench and uh, Ongier and Butler come onto the bench. So in terms of head-to-heads, this season in round one, the two teams played, also won that in 36-10. And then round 10, a bit closer in the sports ground, Connacht um, 20, Ulster 22. Ulster actually 22-8 up with two minutes to go in that one. Connacht um, got two tries and missed the conversion to get a draw like they scored I think in the 84th minute they scored the 78th and 84th minute and then um, couldn't quite uh, get the draw with the missed conversion right at the end we're going to have a look at some of the stats from the teams then from the season so Ulster finished in second Connick seventh on attack then Ulster with more points 554 to 456 Ulster also, also more tries, 756, sorry, 75 even, 65. Um, offloads, 137 to 118. Meters gained, um, 6781 six, to 5929. Defenders beaten, 283 to 249. Clean breaks, 102 to 76. So looking at that, you would imagine that Ulster will probably make more ground and have more breaks in this one. But then in terms of tries per clean break, Ulster is 0.74 and Connacht at 0.86. Connacht are actually in that stat the best in the entire URC. So even though they make less breaks, they probably won't be too far behind Ulster in terms of tries scored. Defence then, uh, points conceded, 378 for Ulster, 426 for Connacht. Tries Conceded 49 for Ulster, 58 for Connacht. Tackles made then, Ulster top of this one for the leagues with 3,001. Connacht 2878. Tackle success then, 89% for Ulster, 90% for Connacht. So Connacht, a little bit of an edge there. And, you know, fine margins can make a difference in a game like this. So tackles missed, 329 for Ulster, 282 for Connacht. Turnovers lost, 207 for Ulster, 215 for Connacht. And then kicking. So 
Total kicks from hand, 95 for Ulster, 79. O'Connor so expect Ulster to kick a little bit more. Penalties um, scored, 21 to 14. So Ulster may be looking to go for the post a bit more, especially with John Cooney on the park. I think that that will happen. Um, conversions then, Ulster 56 to 40. So, um, you know, they were about 10 tries ahead, but in terms of conversions, they're actually a bit more than that ahead. So Ulster, Ulster maybe again with the boot from the tee could actually be a deciding factor in the game. Only one drop goal by Connacht, uh, but none by Ulster at all. Kicks from hand then, 4-10 um, for Ulster, 454 for Connacht. So, you know, as I said, going to be expecting Ulster to be kicking more to the post, but expect uh, Connacht to actually kick from hand a little bit more. Uh, kicks retained then, 96 to 107. So, you know, they like to get up there and compete, but Ulster as well. So, going to be fairly competitive, I think, under those high balls. Kick meters then, 11,549 for Ulster, 1, 000, uh, sorry, 15,072 for Connacht. So, expect Connacht, you know, to be try, try to kick along and kind of keep Ulster in their own half when they can. In terms of then discipline, we have. Um, Seven yellow cards for Ulster, 10 for Connacht. Red cards then, one for Connacht, no, none for Ulster. Penalties conceded, 162 for Ulster, 189 for Connacht. And Connacht are going to have to kind of, you know, be fairly close in the penalty count in this one to really have a chance. Scrum, scrum offences then, 30 to 32, so fairly even there. Line out um, offences, 8 for Ulster, 10 for Connacht line outs then 211 takes for Ulster to 230 for Connacht line outs lost 33 for Ulster and 35 for Connacht line out success 86% for Ulster 87 for Connacht so going to be fairly close there but then line out steals 22 for Ulster and 38 for Connacht so look for Connacht going for the steal and competing on the Ulster throw. Scrums then, 96 scrums, one for Ulster, 107 for Connacht. The scrum um, success, 91% for Ulster, 94 for Connacht. Scrum penalties, one, 15 for Ulster and 26 for Connacht. So, you know, Connacht more likely to win scrum penalties. So really on set piece, we're looking at probably at Connacht attacking Ulster as much as they can in uh, both scrum and line out. In terms of like, you know, what the two caps have been saying, so Dan McFarlane talked about all the players who are moving on at the end of the season can be proud of their contribution to the province both on and off the field. It's all said it's great to be playing in front of a home crowd um, who will want to thank the players too and show their appreciation said Connacht, they're going to be hungry and this is a do or die playoff and expects it to be physical and intense for Connacht then. Andy Friend said, um, you know, it's months of hard work had gone into this. Playoffs were their aim at the start of the season um, and they plan to make the most of it now that they have made it there. Ulster are going to be tough at home but Connacht have improved since their last trip to Ravenhill which was that 36 10 defeat in the opening round of the season. Um, and he's heard that there's a huge uh, crowd traveling up and hopefully that that will uh, give them a boost to their chances for winning. In terms of then, you know, kind of what I think about it, like uh, I think Ulster are going to be favorites for this one. There has been lots of talk about a need for them to deliver. Um, some saying, you know, the season's going to be a failure. If they lose, I'm not... Um, you know, I'm not of that opinion myself, but um, there has been more optimism from within the camp. Um, I saw that Stuart McCluskey was saying that actually winning the title would be um, would mean more to him than the Grand Slam with Ireland, and also that if they don't win it this year, they're in a good position for next year. So, you know, very differing opinions from inside and outside the camp. Connacht. Um, 
they have been in great form lately, but so have Ulster. Like, you know, uh, both teams have won six of their last seven games. Uh, and, you know, Connacht, they couldn't quite get the job done against Glasgow um, in the final round. And I think this one would be, you know, as tough, if not th- tougher than that as well for them. So, yeah, it's, I'm look, looking forward to what I think is going to be a, a very exciting game. And it's actually, you know, it's almost like uh, picking between your kids to pick between Ulster and Connacht. But uh, again, just because of home advantage, I have to go for Ulster in this one.